Have you ever wondered why the police have to read you your rights and why they're called Miranda rights or why any of that should matter to you? Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that today. So I'm sure we've all seen a TV show where somebody gets arrested and the cop says, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Well, I guess I've seen that on TV, but I've also had it happen to me. Um, and at the time it was happening to me, I didn't really know why those things were important. And now I realize as a criminal defense attorney, how important those things are. So I'll tell you a little bit about where the rights come from and then the landmark case that we all know as Miranda v. Arizona or what we call today the Miranda rights that most law enforcement train on um, so that they can read to suspects. So really what this embodies is your fifth and sixth amendment rights in the U.S. Constitution. Your fifth amendment right to uh, or against self-incrimination and your Sixth Amendment right to an attorney. Now, there's been tons of litigation about what each of these constitutional rights actually mean, uh, you know, specifically for the Sixth Amendment, whether or not it applies to misdemeanors and felonies and, and all kinds of other stuff. Um, and actually states, it, and here in Texas, this is the case, there's provisions in the state constitution that also enforce these rights. So um, basically, why they say this is because in the court of law, or anytime you're accused of a crime, you don't have to testify against yourself. In other words, you can't be forced to provide testimonial information about yourself that would incriminate you. Now, that doesn't necessarily apply to everything the same way in terms of different types of evidence, but definitely your own spoken words. You cannot be compelled to tell on yourself, essentially. Uh, and then the Sixth Amendment right is for an attorney so that you can have counsel there to guide you through the process. So lastly, just a really, really short history lesson, uh, something that I think is really interesting, and I'll actually include the links below to the Supreme Court case um, and the oral arguments and everything, but um, the Miranda case itself that went up to the Supreme Court is based on a situation where a gentleman named Ernesto Miranda uh, was accused of kidnapping, robbing, and raping uh, a young 18-year-old woman in Arizona. Well, his conviction in the lower courts and the state courts in Arizona was based almost, well, it was based solely on his confession. Now, the cops never read him his rights or anything. Obviously, this is pre-Miranda, so he just kind of came in and was, uh, you know, maybe coerced into saying some things that weren't in his best interest because he didn't know about the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution or the Sixth Amendment to the Constitution. So he just kind of said what he had to say. Well, it actually ended up getting remanded, U.S. v. Arizona, from the Supreme Court uh, back down to Arizona. Miranda was later convicted uh, based on other evidence. He was sentenced and, and he actually ended up getting paroled and, and getting stabbed shortly after being paroled. Uh, so that's kind of a little history lesson for you about where our Miranda rights come from. But to tidy all of this up and just to get these few main points across to you that I think are the most important about this whole video are when you're interacting with law enforcement because you're accused of a crime, it's probably, no, it is a really good idea to have an attorney with you. So find a good criminal defense attorney, even if you've just been notified that you may be charged with a crime and there's no charges or indictments or anything yet, it's always a good idea to reach out to a criminal defense attorney to understand your rights and understand what's going on. Uh, generally, we're gonna tell you just don't talk um, because the government needs to be made to prove its case. And, you know, don't feel compelled in situations where uh, maybe you do find yourself in a set of handcuffs to tell the cops anything because it's your constitutional right not to incriminate yourself and it's also your constitutional right to have an attorney there with you. Um, exercising those rights really, really helps when it comes to mounting a defense in court. And the other key thing to remember is that 
no one will know about your silence. So if you exercise your right to remain silent and somewhere in your head you think, okay, well, only guilty people would remain silent because they have something to hide and everybody on the jury and the judge and everyone's just gonna know, well, that's not the case. If you exercise your constitutional right to remain silent and you exercise your constitutional right to an attorney, well, that's just not stuff that can be brought up in court. So the only folks that are gonna know you were silent are you and the cops and your attorney and probably the prosecutor. So don't be intimidated if you find yourself um, being investigated by law enforcement or anything like that. Make sure you get in touch with a good criminal defense attorney very early on in the case. It's really gonna pay dividends in the end and, and help you get back to you know, living the rest of your life. Or you know, if you actually committed a crime, it's gonna put you in a better position to defend against that crime. Um, if you like this video, if there's anything that I can change, please let me know. Uh, you know, the production value probably isn't that great right now uh, with the cuts and everything, but I'm working on it. So if you like this and you wanna see more or you have different topics that you wanna know about, please subscribe here. Find me on Facebook or Instagram. Let me know what you wanna hear, what you wanna see, and I'll keep bringing you good content with uh, anything that has to do uh, with criminal defense or immigration law. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. Have a great day.